So, Isak Cruz versus Yoriokis Gamboa is coming up. <laughs> um, man, I didn't even know this was a fight, man. I, I didn't even, I didn't see no real promotion for it. And um, I had heard of it like early on when they announced it, but I didn't, yeah, I just left it alone. I really didn't think much of it. But I want to just talk about it. I want to give a prediction for that one, man. I, I, yo, man, they are just passing Yoriokas Gamboa around like, 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 like a, like you pass around a, a, a hole on the, on the whole stroll, man. I mean, he, they done fed him to Devin Haney, Tank Davis. Now they feeding him to Isak Cruz, man. Hey, it's nobody else for Isak Cruz to fight, bro. Yo, at this point, man, yo, uh, Gamboa, he just fighting for a check, man. He's he's a shot fighter, bro. He's still a rugged ass dude, though. But he's a shot fighter, bro. He's he's fighting for a check. How is is how is any of these dudes fighting uh, Gamboa really? helping them progress it's just i guess a busy fight it's like i guess a for these dudes like tank and devin that would ease um gamboa is like pretty much just a stay busy fight man but for a dude like isak cruz to me isak cruz is a decent fighter but he has a lot of work to do still has a lot of improvements that's a, to me man that's even a step up fight for that's not even a step up fight for isak cruz that's just another Stay busy fight, man. Gamboa would, would be like a... I wouldn't even call him a gatekeeper anymore. Like, I I don't even know what to call Gamboa. He's just floating in the... He's just floating around. He's floating in the division. He's he's like a... um, Like a floater at a job that you call him when somebody needs to fill in or some shit like that. And, you know, he's just moving around from post to post. That's, that's all that uh, Gamboa is at this point. So... This fight does absolutely nothing for Isak Cruz besides just keeping him busy. That's it. How does this fight go? Well, Gamboa is tough as nails. But as, you know, he gets older, man. He's older. Every fight takes more and more out of you when you lose the way he always getting beat on and knocked down and knocked out. You know, um, and I've seen him different in this fight. Um, he's rough, though. He's tough. I'm uh, I'm not sure if if Isak Cruz is gonna knock him out, but I definitely see Gamboa um, getting getting hurt in this fight. Like like all the other fights, he gets he'll get hurt, but he's strong and tough. And Isak is a tough he's a, he's a tough dude. Um, I don't see anything. I would say uh, Gamboa is just he, he's still more technical than Isak Cruz though. So he he's gonna get his little things off in that fight. You're gonna see him giving him some good jab work. Probably some good little body work, man. But Isak is gonna keep coming. He's gonna keep putting the pressure on him. And I think um, there's a chance you might see a stop. You might see a stoppage in this fight. And if you do, um, given Gamboa's toughness, man, I would probably say this fight maybe goes ten. I say you probably get him out in tenth round. So. You know, because I'm being generous because, you know, I give Gamboa his credit for being tough, man. Tank, it took Tank a whole, what, Tank knocked him out finally how many rounds? What, 11? It took Tank almost a whole fight to knock out a Yoriokis Gamboa that was already pretty much damaged goods when, when Tank got him, you know, got to him. You know, after Bud beat him down, then, he, then Bud just fed the rest of the scraps to all these other dudes. Bud was the first one to get him. You know, so I don't see it. Uh, I see it going to length. I see Gamboa still giving it a good one for for who he is, for him being a, a shot fighter. I still don't see Gamboa laying down in that fight. So I think eventually it's going to be too much for him. Isaac Cruz is going to overwhelm him, and he's going to stop him in the tenth. So I'm giving this fight to Isaac Cruz, tenth round KO. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Catch you guys later on the next one. And I'm out.